Hey, Gender Queer Chat. Happy Thursday. It's Matt. Uh, This week's topic is uh, quite an interesting one. Uh, It's to do with jobs and careers and stuff. And um, the actual question is, how has your gender affected your career? Did it affect the field you chose to go into? And if you were cis, do you think you would have chosen a different path? Uh, Do you feel your gender variance has hurt or helped you in gaining success in your work? And do you ever worry about your job security because of your gender? Um, So how has my gender affected my career? I don't think it has, (laughs) to be honest. Um, I don't think about my gender in relation to uh, the work that I do uh, a hell of a lot. Uh, other than the actual interactions that I have with people at work and um, maybe me not being uh, perceived the way that I wish to be perceived or that my uh, gender identity and that sort of stuff is pretty much uh, invisible um, as far as my work people are concerned. So kind of a different different issue, although it does affect the um, degree of comfort and stuff that I have at work and how much I enjoy being there because um, I don't always feel that I can be myself or uh, express myself the way that I want to or... Uh, more to the point, have people see me the way that I wish to be seen. Um, having said that, I work in a, um, I work for the Australian government uh, in a government department, and I have done that for quite a few years. And pretty much every uh, department that I've worked in has been uh, predominantly dominated. No, sorry, <laughs> um, is predominantly female or uh, female-bodied people uh, there. The current job I have has a higher proportion. Um, of male-bodied people in it than what I'm used to, but um, pretty much in the kind of job that I do in the kind of that field, um, most of the people in my kind of office space that I interact with are actually female-bodied people, and that's something that I find uh, quite comfortable <laughs> and don't have a problem with at all. That's um, That works out really well for me. Um, do I think that I would have chosen a different path if I had been cisgendered? Uh, well, I got these jobs before I actively started to identify as uh, genderqueer, but of course, prior to actually using those labels for myself, it's not as if I was a you know, male or uh, cisgendered. Um, but I don't think it would have particularly affected or changed my choices. I remember when I was a kid um, or a teenager, I had a huge issue <laughs> mentally and emotionally going on with... Um, kind of the differences between men and women and the opportunities that were available to them, the types of jobs that they could have um, and that sort of stuff. And even though that seems kind of ridiculous now because I think a lot has changed in regards to the types of uh, work that men and women can do um, traditionally and the kind of fields that you're groomed towards as you're growing up um, uh, sort of becoming an adult. But I don't think that divide... Uh, is there as much. But I remember when I was a teenager and sort of getting to that age where I had to start thinking about uh, jobs like going to um, your counsellor at school and stuff about 